everyone, it's Jesse over at the Orange County Convention Center for MegaCon 2024. But today, I'm Lois Lane getting the scoop on what's going down. Hmm, wonder if we'll find Superman. What room does Mario not fit in? Uh, I have no idea. I don't know. Mushroom! Oh! oh. <laughs> he got it. All right, ready for the next one? All right, next All right, one. next one is, what is Mario's favorite Broadway show? Uh, Mamma Mia! Ah, yeah. Mamma Mia! What do the oh, bad guys smart. in Mario Brothers use for searching the internet. I have no idea. A Bowser. A web oh. browser. A web browser. A browser. Oy. I thought you would have gotten that one. That's okay. Now you can share those with everybody, okay? Oh, I'm sorry, Peach is here too. She's shopping, if you can imagine. That's a very good Peach thing to be doing. Oh my gosh! Uh-oh. Oh no! I need to get that! And he's got his Duncan. America and Bowser run on Duncan. Yes. <gasps> Can we just enter to win a chance for free coffee for one year? I will do it if it's the Superman one for an entire year Superman coffee every morning. Does Lois Lane have a coffee? Not yet. <gasps> she needs one to be like macadamian or something, I think. When you turn them around, there's a comic on the back. And there are limited editions, so they print different editions of each of the coffees, which is really, really cool. I love the designs, I love the art. Great coffee, I appreciate it. Cheers, you have to stop by coffee, it's great. I'm uh, Henry, this is my art project, the Theme Park Preservation Society. Uh, what we make here is uh, artwork that feels like it came right out of the story of a theme park attraction. So like uh, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, everybody knows that, we have uh, a stock certificate from the Big Thunder Mining Company uh, or uh, things like that. I do uh, this piece right here is a uh, page out of the Sleeping Monk's illuminated manuscript from Spaceship Earth. Uh, that kind of thing. Uh, very niche stuff for theme park fans. So. so you have a picture of somebody that everyone at home should know if they've been watching the show. What's oh, the story yeah. behind this picture? Oh, so yeah, that's Magineer Joe Rohde. Uh, last year I made this... Uh, this piece, I call it the the man with the elaborate earring. It's a parody of the girl <laughs> with the pearl earring. Uh, and uh, yeah, I had this. It was a big hit at the show last year, and then I had it up on my Etsy. Uh, and then I get a message from someone who's a friend of Joe Rohde. They had bought that for him for his birthday and sent me the picture. Uh, I was very honored. So. <laughs> So our artists also have guest artists, and my favorite one is Art Lab. And with us is our beautiful artist who's oh, created please. some wonderful <laughs> pieces that you have to come and check out. Can you please share some of your top ones with I us? I brought some of my theme park prints with me today. We have Figment, which everybody knows, everybody loves. He's very popular, so he had to make an appearance. I have two Living with the Land pieces because that's I'm just the way the that I am. I have my hot air balloons and I have our favorite little portraits at the end. They're in here somewhere, I promise. Uh, my favorite is the runaway railway design because it's subtle, but it showcases every single scene in Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway with a lot of hidden details that you will pick out immediately if you've been on the ride. Pretty neat, yeah? I love it. <laughs> I think it would go great with Rody right next to the I think so too. Mantle piece right I there. I think so too. This is the Maledictomatic. It is a dispenser of cursed artifacts. Uh, you take a spin, you get what you get, and uh, you'll walk away cursed regardless. Uh, so here, I've got your coin here. And we'll see what you get. And I have to read this out loud? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's the way the curse works. So I think we all know who this fellow is. And this is my curse. It's very brilliant. <laughs> Citric Foul Talisman. 
You are cursed to forever think only orange thoughts. A swirl of citrus envelope, envol, envelopes? Envelopes. Envelopes. Sorry, I cannot read. <laughs> it's okay. Your very being. My lucky numbers, there are lucky numbers to this curse, 10, 19, 71. You are now cursed. Congratulations. <laughs> not gonna lie, it's not something I thought I'd be doing today. Being cursed by the orange bird. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now everything is going to turn orange. Please tell me you have an orange effect to put in this <laughs> shot, because that would be amazing. Put a, a, an orange haze over the, <laughs> yes. over the video, yeah. <laughs> no, I can't use the ATM. I saw you using the ATM. <laughs> Not a friendly joy. Can you just read the ATM numbers? We can both benefit here. Get you some upgrades. I know. I, I am not a part of the dark side. Have you seen Superman by any chance? No. Oh, there have I. Dang it. This is the cause and effects booth that we just stumbled upon, and it's amazing. They're doing a Bowie tribute, and it's labyrinth themed. Look at these beautiful sets. Like, look at this. And you can get photos. Look at her. You look beautiful. And of course. Well, well. Who Hello. Do we have here? Just a lonely reporter. Ah. I have I have two babies, but I don't feel like I should be telling you that. Uh, care to have one be a goblin? Um, maybe not. Oh. Anytime. <gasps> oh my goodness. Looking for a fast ride? I think I found a couple. I kind of like that ride though up there. Just saying. There definitely is a ghost in there. You should ask Daphne. There's a ghost. We were just talking about ghosts and we just thought you're Daphne, ghost, you know, yeah. It works. So cute. I want a Wally. Wally, would you like to come home with me? I'm taking Wally. Sorry, R2. So do you know how you tell uh, Chip and Dale apart? Oh. So Chip has a chocolate chip nose, yep. and Dale's just dumb. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love that. Uh, we'll keep that between you and me. <laughs> Don't say anything too loud. <laughs> you know how droids are, you can't trust them. Just saying. Doesn't look shady over here or anything. Blue milk. Yeah, we have also have rhodian rations, but I don't think you look like a rhodian, so it might be no, a little No, definitely not. Yeah. What we'll can I get started for you? Um, I guess I'll go with some bantha milk. Sound Blue good? Milk? Okay. Uh, do that. What do you got on you? We do five imperial credits. It'll be six. Does this work? This? It's an it's an I'm awesome coin. I do have my credentials though, if that would help. Alright, give me a call. Oh, the, the bar is getting very busy uh, all of a sudden. Spit in this one, you should be good. Oh, it looks delicious. Go. Hang on, I'm gonna just drink it over here. Oh, best I've had all day. Thank you. Why is Indiana Jones not married? I don't know. Bad dates. <laughs> <laughs> So as you can see, Lois Lane does have her own comic book, and she was the first DC citizen to have her own comic book, and she's a female, and she has her own row, and I have to say she is my favorite. I mean, look, look at how cute this is! It's adorable, and that's adorable, and that's even more adorable, and there's a next one. There we go. Okay, so I need an R2 unit, I need a Wally, and now I need a baby cover with so good. My lashes are better than mine. <laughs> Run ahead and take it, you're gonna move. The Dr. Pepper Knight. The Dr. Pepper Knight. Well, I find that so delightful. So Soda. delightful. Get it? Get it. <laughs> He's so delightful. I love this. Today, we're taking it back. Back to the future with the cast. Back to the future. We have Leah Thompson, Tom Wilson, Christopher Lloyd, Michael J. Oh, I want to see Michael J. Fox. Why does Peter Pan fly? <gasps> Peter got it! Because he never lands. 
<laughs> so I, uh, why? Because I had all the questions about this particular comic book by Tidal Wave. Look at this. This is all Taylor Swift. These are biopics of her with different covers. We even have heading into the Super Bowl our homegirl Swifty. So, if there's any Swifts out there, you have to stop by, talk to this guy, pick up this comic book because you're not going to miss out on this biopic. And if I don't see somebody cosplaying as this next year, I will be very disappointed. I'm telling you, this, is, cool. this is hot. What is Anna and Elsa's least favorite letter of the alphabet? What? C, because their parents were lost at sea. Oh, oh that's, that's mean. It's okay, we'll let it go. Thank you. <laughs> That's my official scoop on MegaCon 2024. If you're a fan, if you're a cosplayer, if you're bored for the weekend and in the Orlando area, I definitely suggest checking out MegaCon next year. It is so much fun. The artists, the cosplayers, the cosplayers, the artists. I mean, it's just pretty much amazing. And if you happen to be Superman, would you just come to the con already? <sighs>